Okay. One second. <laughs> I'm checking out Okay, both of these teams have also agreed to banter like our Fraces versus Eclipse matchup today. So if you see them going at it in the chat, that's all right. They have agreed. <laughs> Already getting in on it. I'm excited, Big Holt. <laughs> Jumping in. This is going to be a fun one. Looks like Olympians are going to be on defense first and Allers are going to be on attack first. I think this will be really close. I genuinely do. I don't say that a lot, too. We won last match. Ragu won 2 to 0. And it looks like the prediction very close as well. Most people siding with Olympians, 56%. Olympians coming off of a win, Outliers coming off of a loss. But Outliers seemingly have a different lineup in. They had to use an emergency sub last week, but they seem more prepared and ready to go this week. I think it'll be a whole new look for this squad. Stocky getting very low though. One Genji dash would be enough to take him down. Hit scan and Stocky gonna go down and nice gameplay from Kazi and Homicide. Homicide wants one more. Gonna finish off their fellow Genji Kurai. And Olympians starting off with a nice team fight. But. Outliers are going to be knocking at the door once again. Aura on the Sigma. One of the few tank players we've seen on these teams that plays a lot of Sigma. Which is weird because Sigma, I feel like he's always one of those tanks that's pretty meta, pretty good. But we rarely see him in SOL matches. But Aura does play a lot though. So it's fun to see the Sigma gameplay from them. But... Ryan, kind of a Sigma counter for that exact reason. Ryan can swing right through all of Sigma's shields and grasps. Looney might be going for the Ariolt. Gonna find Big Holt. Nice kill there, but I don't think it'll matter as Olympians are being forced off of this point. For both of these teams, this is not the last match of the season. They have one more match each tomorrow. Olympians going to be taking on Guardians, and Outliers taking on Phoenix. One of those matches will be close, the other not so much. I'll leave it up to your imagination, which is which. Olympians still contesting this point. It looked like it was over, but they had a great regroup. And Outliers might not be able to get it. They're going to use a Nano Kurai Blade to try and force it in, and that would probably do it. Jumping on Swifters, somehow Swifters still alive. Just Bakora, big play there. It almost looked like Outliers were gonna leave empty handed after an impressive team fight, but the Nano Blade will make sure that does not happen. Bakora behind enemy lines, gonna be taken out and disposed of. Phoenix mentioned, sir. Phoenix playing their last game of the season. Coming off of an absolutely insane win. Defeating, Freese is handing them. I would say their only win of the season, but they lost to Eclipse today too. Phoenix definitely a playoff team. They're just trying to fight for as good of a seat as possible. And if you're a Phoenix player right now, you want outliers to lose today. You want outliers to lose because you might be able to steal the third seed from them. If outliers lose, I think Phoenix wins. I think Phoenix will take the third seed. I don't know all the details. But Phoenix and Outliers should not be friends right now. They are definitely fighting for that last seed right under Braces and Eclipse. Stocky gets denied by Vakora and will be immediately taken down. Hitscan does take out Homicide. Looney with another. Lariel. Looney, one of the. Kind of like Vakora, like one of the only Sigma players I see. Looney is the only person I see who plays Olari. Oh no. Snake Eyes in a precarious spot here. <laughs> They're gonna give some candy to Olympians though. That's awfully nice of them. 
<laughs> gets to sleep on Bakora, no way they get out. <laughs> they had a extraction team of outliers sitting outside ready to save Snake Eyes, but not gonna happen. That was funny. <laughs> It would have been funny to see Outliers kind of like crash in and save him though. Nice play from Stocky to take Bakora away from the two squishies that got shattered. Big Hold's also going to use their ult to keep everybody alive. But Swifter's going to go ahead and use the Bat Ball. And it's going to lead to a double kill for Olympians. Moving in on Cry. Gets that kill as well, like in the Pirate Bat. Stocky takes out Homicide, but Katzy will quickly trade it out. Olympians doing a good job of stopping My is charged. Attack with the outliers in their tracks here. Outliers have had to fight pretty hard for every single little bit of space. Looks like Stocky swapping over to the Tiva. Tiva, a good Ryan counter. And we've got lots of alts online. More so on the side of Outliers. We'll see if they can use these alts to get under this bridge. This is always a tough choke point to get through. We got Nano Blade too. I just realized that. Is he going to try and use the Cassidy alt? And it's going to lead to Stocky getting team mech. That's a big kill. But they're going to use Nano Blade anyway? Okay, they're going to use Nano Blade anyway. It might work. You can never sleep on a Karai Blade, and Hitscan gonna get on the action, taking out Bash and Swifters does take out Genji finally, but the damage might already be done. Kazzy's still there with him, never mind actually, I think that should stop things. It's a little worried about the Nano Blade with the tank down, it seems like it might not lead to much. It does get the payload close, but not all the way there. Aura getting anti. Support's gonna try and cover for him. That's a good job so far. Looney takes a big hold. That's huge. Stocky almost getting D mech. Gonna try and just use their bomb. Not gonna find anything there, but hit scan. Heating up. Not over yet. Looney big kill on hit scan though, trying to stop them. The support's alive for Olympians, but Swifters will be taken down, and we might have a 1v1 on point right now, and it looks like Urai will win it. And barely, barely getting that payload in there. Olympians probably wanted to stop them there so bad, but we're going to switch over to the Junker Queen. Both of these teams definitely play off bound, and they might face each other in the play-in based on how things shake out. I think it's more likely that Olympians will probably finish fifth, though, so maybe not. But it is very possible that this could be a rematch of next week on Sunday in the play-in. Let's see. But either way, both teams can rest assured knowing that they are headed to the playoffs. No matter what happens today, it's just about seeds at this point. Who gets the better seed? Who gets first map pick? Which can be a big deal, especially if you take time to practice a map. Of course, a slicing hit scan. I'm excited gonna finish off Snake Eyes. And a decisive team fight for the Olympians. Outliers probably with one last chance. They do have a Nano Blade to work with, though. We'll see if it comes out. Would be huge. And the nano comes. Maybe a second early, we'll see. Oh, it gets booped away though, still able to jump back in. Good usage of Genji's cooldowns there, but just too much Olympians players looking right at Kurai. Unable to gonna get much value there. Stocky takes out Swifters, but that is really it. Stocky double kill. Gets both supports though. That's kind of important. He does get taken out. Snake Eyes trying to make their way to there. It's not going to happen, though. Good first round for this matchup. That first round felt like it was like 30 minutes long. At the end of game one, get Cry to check Discord. Zoro is ready. Big, big change, everybody. If what Aspect just said is true, Outliers might have a top 200 tank be subbing in.
for map number two. Uh, that could change things a lot, especially because this is still pretty close. I mean, Stocky been going absolutely crazy, getting tons of picks. But I don't know if they're a top 500 player. Much less top 200. Like, that's nuts. Bokora, I also believe, is a top 500 player, though. I don't know how high up in the top 500 they are. So that tank battle would be genuinely insane. We'll see. PC or console? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Top 500 is top 500, you know? No mistakes. No mercy. Out of my water bottle, I just have G fuel left, and it's like not helping me feel the hydrated. Me you can dance, but I won't believe it until I see it. <laughs> it yeah, it matters. I know it does. Handle it. <laughs> Try me. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm remembering those J3 videos where like top 500 console account. players face con top 500 PC, and like console popped. <laughs> All right, Stocky gonna be switching over to the Ramatra. That's a character we never see. That's fun to see. I like watching some Ram gameplay. But we're gonna be on the ball. Two interesting tanks choices here. Olympians on attack, and they have their win condition. If they can get it to where Outliers couldn't, that'll be map one in the books. Kurai gets the opening pick on Hitscan, the other Genji. These two have been back and forth. One will win the Genji duel once, and then the other will come back and get it the next time. Has he? On the Sombra, gonna be sliced out of the air. Interesting pick. Fed them performance enhancers. He's juiced up and ready. Oh no, are we gonna have to start doing SOL drug testing now? <laughs> I don't have the budget for that aspect. <laughs> what kind of performance enhancers are we talking about? <laughs> Karai continuing their tear, taking out Bakora. Just doing well here on defense. The outliers so far, Olympians not able to really break into this Fort Knox they have going here. You're still in denial? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, yeah, the lead, well, Overwatch lead was PC players, you know? I mean, that's that's got to count for something. Kazi on the venture. We're going to see our first venture gameplay of this matchup. Almost takes out Karai, does take out Karai, but Stocky Jr. using that Ramatra ult to get a couple confirmed kills. And Olympians kind of stop dead in their tracks here. Only two minutes and about 10 seconds left to go. They really haven't even made a big attack on point yet. That could change quickly. Hitscan gets blown up by Bakor's bombs, rolling right into the BAP. Guy's able to evade the core for now, but not for too long. Double kill on the supports, that's massive. And with a nice play there, it's just stocky they have to take care of, which they will. Kurai does take out Bakora, that's the takedown, hold on. A recontest might not be impossible when they are sitting outside. We know that Olympians recontested with like a second left on their defense. And that is exactly what happens. Outliers is going to try and do one last attack. They have a blade. Will they use it? Probably not. I'm not going to be able to as they take a kunai in the mouth. And Olympians will take the first point. It took kind of a bit, but pure Colombian right now. That's insane. Hashtag build a comp to support Sarai. You have to go full dive. Is Genji good in, like, any of the other? I know Genji's obviously a good dive hero. Probably not great at poke. Probably not great at brawl. I don't know. Is Genji just, like, a pure dive hero all around? We'll see. Homicide has a blade. Both Genjis with a blade. Homicide goes right into it, though. Quick double kill. I take it back, by the way. I just realized I said something really silly in the Instigators Ragu match. And this is why I didn't want to do it. That's why I didn't want to do it. Because I knew I'd forget somebody. Like, Ghost asked me, like, what's the player you think of when you think of Genji? I genuinely cannot believe I forgot Kurai. Kurai, I apologize. It was not right for me to leave you out there. That is definitely 
one of the players I think of when I think of Genji. And this match has really been a Genji duel between those two players. I would consider those two players, though. Those are the two Genji players of the league. Kazi blowing up Outliers, showing off the new Venture alt if you're new to Venture. Quick triple kill. And they have a little wave at the end because they know that was probably play. So after struggling to get the opening point, Olympians will not struggle to get the next point. And you see that little glowing platform on the ground. That is all they have to get to win map number one. But team owner for Outliers is saying the cavalry might be coming in. They almost don't touch. They get there in time. The Swifter's opening pick takes out Hitscan. Kazi Anti will be able to burrow underground and save some time. Lots of Olympians low, though, and lots of alts ready for Outliers. Here comes Karai's Blade. Gonna slice up Homicide. Ooh, nice combo. Taking out Kazi. Will that stop them for now, though? Still the supports and tank in the area. And looks like they will back up just a little bit there. Stocky getting very low, though, on the Orisa. I do. I have an Olympians card, Junior. I subbed one time for the Olympians. They'll be coming out with the Season 6 cards. Double kill for Olympians. This could be the dagger. Stocky is nanoed. See if they're able to put in any work. Getting bumped and booped around. Kazzy finishes him off. Snake Eyes gonna try and touch. Not gonna be able to. That's gonna be map one. Olympians seeming pretty confident in the chat. I don't think they know what's about to happen. I don't think they know about the sub coming in. <laughs> All right, this could be our last matchup of the day. What? Three, two, one. Swifters is swapping with Bakora? What in the world? Is this real? I'm very confused. I thought Bakora is like a top 500 tank and Swifters is like a support player. What in the world is going on? Homicide on support? Why is every Olympians player on off rolling right now? Besides Looney and Kazzy. What's going on? Just a reminder, there is a raffle going on right now. Could be the last one of the stream if Olympians win this. I'm excited opening pick onto Lemon. I'm so confused why every single Olympians player is off right now. Swifters, big punch on Snake Eyes. Uh, I guess it's working. They win the first team fight. And I really want to swap everybody around right now. So give me one second. I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry. It was bothering me so much. I'm literally just, I'm weird with that. But it's a Doomfist versus Doomfist battle, and we've got to watch some Kurt No Brains. Apparently, top 200 tank player. Subbing in for Outliers, subbing in for Stocky. But it's going to be fun to watch the Doom v Doom. I'm still so confused. I can't get over this. Okay. Maybe in my head, Swifters and Bakora were like on one roll, but maybe they're actually flex players, and I just didn't know that. Kurt No Brains is a crazy name. It is crazy. I like it though, it's funny. Lemon finally getting a kill for the Outliers here. Gonna take out Looney. Bakora's gonna quickly trade it out, taking out Big Hole. And Pulse Bomb ready for Lemon. We'll see who they decide to blow up. Chasing Bakora, their fellow Tracer will finally get the kill. And looks like Outliers might stop the Olympians just short of that first point as they get a couple more picks. Just Swifters in the area, probably not for too much longer. They'll be taken out right there. Okay, reset for Olympians. Outliers taking them out. And then, now they've got three ultimates to work with. So do Olympians, though. They've got their support ults. Meanwhile, the Outliers have their TPS ults. So far, Swissy, but it's still early. And I think it sounds like Kurt No Brains, from what Aspect said, it sounds like Kurt might have just woke up. <laughs> so 
Imagine just waking up and being in a league match. Dude, that'd be tough. Four picks. One after the other for Olympians. Adventure all can go kind of crazy. And they'll finish off Kurai, which was the only player that escaped originally. They got first? What? I'm confused. <laughs> Big Holt gonna take out Homicide. Olympians are past his first checkpoint. Looks pretty back and forth, both tracers racking up the kills, but eventually Kazzy will find limits, so both the DPS players gonna be alive for Olympians, and they're gonna move this bot along, but unless their team gets back real soon, they're gonna be in trouble once the outliers respawn. Kill on either side. Both tracers down. Outliers could flip it here. Both Doom Fists are gonna counter punch. Rai takes out Kazi. Okay, looks like they'll be able to take it again, but Outliers have not been able to push this very far. I don't even know if they pushed the bot past its original starting point. Taking out Looney, that'll help, that'll give them some time. Finally, they get the robot to start pushing here. Maybe Kurt warming up. Lemon with another false bomb. We'll see who the victim is. But Korra getting close to their false bomb. Nice stick on Homicide. Gonna blow up the Moira. Homicide on the Moira now, which is interesting. Both. Both tracers are gonna get a pulse bomb kill, but the core takes out the tank, which might be more value. Taking out the Doomfist. It's funny how both of these tank players have played Doomfist the entire time. I like it. Not swapping. But Swifters will be taken down, so both teams without their Doomfist. And this bot has just been sitting in the middle for quite some time now as players trickle in, get killed. This has been a very long team fight. Especially because we're playing such fast heroes here that they just respawn really quick. Hurt trying to get away, being chased. So Olympians back in control and they're almost to where they had it before, up on this high ground here. With four minutes to go, Outliers will have to get cooking if they're going to have a chance. Double kill there, that's a good start. And they have all, so Snake Eye is going to use the Kiriko alt there. And that'll lead to a couple of big picks. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, Olympians always get it right on that hill, and then they snatch it right back. But what Outliers really have not been able to do so far is get the bot moving on the other side. And there is quite a ways to push it, you know, push can be such a hard map to come back in. Because if you just get, if the bot gets too far to your own spawn, it just takes so many consecutive team fights to try and catch up. Which is why a lot of people argue that push is a bad game mode, and I don't know, I have no comment on that, I like push. <laughs> but I can understand the frustration. Aura jumping in on Snake Eyes, gonna find the pick. Big Holt going to go ahead and use the Break It Down. Here comes Kurai's Blade. Gonna deflect Kazi, slice Bakora out of the air. Almost gets to a health pack, but Looney says, where are you going? And lands a nice shot. Just Big Holt gonna be taken out. And just, yeah, Outliers are winning their team fights. This has been very back and forth, but just Olympians got too much of a lead in the beginning that as each team wins their team fight and then it goes back, the bot is still just in outlier spawn. The 
Swifters looking for some squishies to punch. We'll see if they find any, not this time. But the Cora will help clean it up. Now it's Kurt's turn. Oh, and they see lots of squishies lined up on the bridge. That'll knock some to the low ground, which might be huge. But Looney is gonna jump in and they're gonna shoot absolutely nothing with that Hilari ult. But it doesn't matter because the bot is moving and that's what is important. Swifters pushed up now, fighting the Outliers players coming out of spawn. Gonna get a little too close to the sun there. Karai's gonna slice him up. Rise traded out, Homicide on this Moira. Moira is a character we like never see playoff teams play, so it's fun to see. And Kazi also has this Venture all ready to go. It's been fun watching Venture just blow up enemy teams so far today. First SOL day with Venture, and we've seen it in almost every match. But Kurt is gonna absolutely send Kazi back to spawn, so no Venture ult this time. A minute left on the clock, and Olympians are still pushing. Good thing you ain't alone out here. Next SOL season, we should do a server-wide vote on banning push completely. It's just terrible. I don't know. I mean, good or bad, it's part of Overwatch. That would be like doing a server-wide vote on, like, removing Mercy or something. You know, maybe not every part of Overwatch is liked by every person, but it's all part of the game, you know? And with 20 seconds left on the clock, Outliers have essentially one more chance to stay in this fight. Rai has a blade. They probably would like a little bit more health before they use it, but I don't know if that'll come. Get healed up now. See if they use it. I think they're probably trying to hold it because they know they have to win probably like, oh my god, they have to win like three or four team fights in a row to even have a chance of coming back. But they have three alts to work with. It's not over till it's over. If by some miraculous chance outliers can come back, we'll go to map three. Even winning this one would not be enough. Looney's gonna blow up Kurt. That's the tank down. Snake Eyes down. Kurai down, just two players left, just Lemon and Big Hold, Big Hold, not gonna be able to get there. That'll be all GG's, well played. Olympians will take it in two. Both these teams still have one more match of the regular season. Said Olympians will be facing Guardians tomorrow and Outliers will face Phoenix.